Okay, welcome back. Um, here's a little update of what's been going on. The floating fortress had finished um, researching. Um, started researching the sea wolf. The um, new thing came out just today. Base specials, so you can put extra junk on your um, turrets. I am working on the um, this. It's for mortars. So I want to protect, I think predominantly people are still using a lot of mortars, so I'm going to focus on mortars, because even if they had siege missiles, mortars still have a higher DPS because of splash. So that's, so I'm going to, I'm researching it now, but I'm not going to put any on until I finish getting them blue. I got a couple more of these blue, I think, than the last time you saw. Uh, researching Sentinel missiles, I, I got a feeling that was still running the last time you saw me. Um, since the floating fortress finished, I created a couple cheap floating fortresses, just um, forsaken material. So what it has is, oh actually it's not, I lied. Um, engines 2, thrusters 3, 4 shockwaves, 2 cutlass missiles. With the idea, the goal of the, and no armor. With the idea, the goal of these ships is just to rank them up, and then I'll refit them for base fleets. And then, um, <clears throat> so I built one, and I started trying out level 6 cargo, because I figured that's what I was charging, charging for. I was going to hit by mortars. So I built a battle barge with just anti-mortar, with no engine, because I did the math, and the no engine on a battle barge is the same speed as an engine 2 on a floating fortress. And they actually, have, with the Thruster 3, they actually also have the same turning speed. So they are like dead on match for each other. Um, and then I built another floating fortress. So you can see that the XP, this is 241, this is at 202. This one, this one was built just a little bit later than this one. So with no armor, with uh, uh, some specials really don't add a lot of time. So these didn't take a, these didn't take a crazy amount of time to actually build. So what I'm doing is to, in an effort to rank them up, just wanted to see who was by my base. <laughs> I hit some, I hit somebody's base uh, to help them out. Um, taking out sixes. Sixes will give both floating fortresses the full amount of, of XP that they're gonna that they can qualify for. What I've also learned is that uh, the anti-mortar this ship never gets any XP unless it dies because it doesn't actively shoot at ships so I just turn them around wait for them to turn around so I see the front four mortars the last two are missiles and I wait for them to get in range You'll know they're in range when I start firing. Pull them forward. They need to get off at least three volleys. I just hit the arrow key right there so I can switch to the battle barge because the, I mean, to the floating fortress because the battle barge has no active weapon, so it it doesn't um doesn't have a any sort of gauge. want that one to be kind of dead. With four anti um, anti mortar thingies, hailstorms, it's almost a hundred percent to pick off these mortars. I don't actually have after I clear off that back line, I don't really have to move except for once every once in a while that one will sneak through. And then I have, then I'll carry some other ships to carry the cargo. I got to stagger them so I remember which one is which, because when I'm, I want to fill one at a time and then send them back, and then have them, and have them, sort of just going back and forth. So my my goal is to is to fully get these two to stars, and then refit them to base fleets with full DU4 armor. Uh, finish out the shockwaves on them. Probably just have full shockwave fleets uh, with the reactive armor on them. Probably, 
Yeah, probably. And then I don't really know. <clears throat> I don't really know what I'm gonna do for the other special. And then once I do that, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to upgrade my dock again. Because if I don't know, you probably won't remember the, my Levi's, my base Levi fleets have DU two armor. They can hold. Each one can hold um, at least DU three and maybe like a smattering of DU four. And that's and I'd want to do that. I want to have two floating fortresses and the rest and the other three being Levi's. Um, I'd been doing the Levi's with. I think I showed y'all. Been doing the Levi's with four Levi's shockwaves and one with the long range assault missiles. Uh, to rank those up, and I and I have at least three of them as stars. I have two of them that are like one one ranking away from stars. And as you can see, this is really really easy. It's just tedious because sixes don't give you a ton of money. Six, seven, eight. This one might almost fill up. Yeah, it did fill up. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going around and I'm ranking them up. And right now, I think you can see I've been doing this for oh, a couple, couple days, two days maybe, but just like nonstop, just nonstop. So I got the first three rankings. So they're um, and it won't let me click on it, but they're um. 15% faster fire and 15% faster turning. So I really want to get 25% for both. Because I have the, um, yeah, I have three of these, three of these Levi's at stars. So I can have a fully start out base fleet. That's that's my goal. Um, and my goals on the, this thingy, is to put this sort of stuff on at the very least okay let, let's look at it this way at the very least what I want to do is I want to make this heavy armored okay and then so I'm, I'm working on the sentinel missiles 4 so I'm actually thinking that once you've once you have this uh, this other one um, this one the the Mickey the thingy that makes the missiles better uh, maybe maybe the central missiles are a little bit better at that point. So um, I was thinking if you if you make this heavy armor so these don't go down as easily, so the ships are worn down, right? And maybe you maybe you killed a ship or two by the time they get around here. <clears throat> have the guns in the back. You know their their turret armor is not as strong, but their gun armor is stronger. So you you weaken them. And now you have actually stronger guns in the back than you actually had up front. That's a theory. I, you know, it's going to take me a long time to research both of those technologies. So who knows? But I'm gonna I'm gonna work on armoring up this front section after I finish getting them all gold. So that's a little quick update. That's what I've been doing. Um, did a little. I did a little base hit because. Uh, some guy that's not too far away from me was had been hit a lot of miners, and so one guy went off and killed all killed all of his minor fleets and asked me to go take out his base. And I told him, you know, my, my base fleet kind of sucks. And he was like, "Well, go ahead anyway. His base is kind of easy." So I took my Merc, and I didn't need it. I actually took it out like pretty quickly because it would actually take more damage than my this one. He had a box base with uh, on the ring. He had nothing but mortars. So since all of my Leviathans have engine twos, I just outran all the mortars, and that's the only that's the only damage you did. I remember I only got DU two armor, which is a lot less than some of the titanium armors. So that's really about it. Everything else I think has been um, f uh, just um, fleet to fleet fighting. So that's the update. That's what we've been up to. So talk to you later. Bye.